everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am Victoria and I'm going to do another reading for you today. Okay, this reading will be called Does He Want Me? Basically, it's a reading about um, if um, how things are going between you two, if you have any questions about whether he wants you or not, or um, any little questions or any doubts in your head or whether he's committed to your relationship. Okay, so... If you like this channel or anything I do on the rest of my videos, could you please like and um, subscribe to my channel and click turn on the notification bell so I you'll know when any, any um, new videos are uploaded. And also if you like a personal reading with me, uh, details will be in the description box below this video. Okay, so this is a reading of does he want me? I say he, but it could be, it doesn't have to be he, it could be just, I'm saying he for the, he for the analytics of the video. So before we begin, I'd like to just relax and centre yourself before we start choosing these cards. I'm using the red rose today and the, I think that's a rose, a blue rose and the yellow sunflower, just as significant symbols so you can just focus your eyes on each deck. So just relax yourself and just focus on each deck in turn and we'll see what we come up with today. I'll give you a few minutes to do that. Okay, and welcome back to those of you who chose this yellow sunflower today. And let's see if we can get an answer. I'll put it there to your question. What we've got here is, does he want me? So this is the hermit. I'll tip that the way, actually. And this is the king of pentacles. And the eight of swords in the reverse. All these three cards for this reading are reversed, okay? So not to worry, I'll just, I'll just try and figure this out now. What I see with your person here is with this, we'll start this side, which is an unusual side to start, but I will. Um, there's a lot to explain here. This is the Eight of Swords reversed. And basically I see just somebody who's just a little bit on the lazy, the lazy side and unwilling to make a decision. Okay, with this hermit energy here, this is, because it's reversed, it's someone who's just gone within themselves, okay. Um, they're not really communicating very well. Um, that's very frustrating for you to see and hear. Or maybe a few harsh words were said that really upset you. Um, this Knight of Pentacles in reverse here, this is again as, as the Eight of Swords. This is almost a, a sort of a quite a selfish person. Um, doesn't They don't want to make a commitment, commitment. They don't want to make a decision. They're getting quite stuck. Dare I say a little bit of a spoilt brat. You've got going on here they've like stamping their foot down saying you know leave me be i'm not i'm, they've, they've, I'm not going to commit to you stop making me make a decision that's what i can hear in this eight of swords energy means that there, with the reverse i see there's been um, um quite a few quarrels between you both because you're after a little bit more commitment and they don't want to make that decision or their commitment for you so what I sense with this energy is that there's been quite a lot of deliberate confusion okay so I don't know if they're playing mind games with you so they could be telling you or messaging you what you want to hear just to keep you there but actually this person is not either not that interested or really doesn't want there's not got the ability to make that the decision that you're after I also see with well, this energy is here all three together that a lot of maybe more with these two, the Knight of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords, that there was some kind of deliberate interference. Okay, it might just be this person inter deliberately causing a problem or it could be a little bit of outside deliberate interference. I see a bit of a not being very fair on you because you're waiting for them to make this decision and truly they're either not capable or they don't want to. This person has also already been all being overcautious. 
and basically telling you what you want here to keep you exactly where they want you while they go and do other things. I'm not sure if you know that or suspect it already. That's basically what the situation is here. Unfortunately, all the cards have been reversed today. I don't cherry pick my cards. I don't look at them. So I just read as is. So if that's your reasoning, maybe you had those unanswered questions and I cleared them up slightly for you today. It's quite um, a deep reading and quite a low energy. So that's what I read for you today. For those of you who chose the sunflower, you know, with when whenever I read anything low like that, I always get a very dark deep feeling of was quite sad I'm not sure if you want to hang on for this person a little bit longer maybe they will make this commitment to you eventually but you know look after yourself and turn to your loved ones people that care about you the most hmm. so that's the what I see for the people who chose the yellow sunflower today if you want any other, if this doesn't resonate with you, um, maybe choose another flower, another pile, or refer to another video in my in my channel. It might be a bit more clearer. Okay. So that's it for this one. And um, see you all soon. And bye-bye for now. Welcome back to those of you who've chosen this lovely blue rose here today. Okay. So let's have a look does he want me and if there's any see if they can clear up any questions that you have in your head because you're not sure about so we've got the moon the right way up Put that there and we have the 10 of swords right way up and we have the queen of wands so does he want me and the questions that you have got in your head for those of you chosen the blue rose with this moon energy here this is someone who's hiding something usually um hiding feelings okay they have a feeling that they are not good enough for you okay not maybe not successful enough not attractive enough they just, in general, general, don't feel that they're good enough for you. So, but they're hiding it from you. Okay, they don't want you to know, and I don't know if you're aware of it. There's also the card of someone who's quite um, in low spirits or have a little bit of low self-esteem. They don't like who they are, or, or um, you know, they just don't feel good enough for you, which is a shame because. Um, no matter how much you reassure them, they still don't feel that they are. They just don't want to tell you this is how they feel. Maybe you're already aware of it, maybe you're not. Um, with this Ten of Swords energy, it's, it's almost the same, okay? They're hiding the way they feel, basically. So they really, maybe they're just, maybe you haven't met yet. Maybe you've met online and they just don't, maybe they're thinking, oh, what is, you know, they might, if they see me in the flesh, they might not meet like what they see and run away but this is a positive card the ten of swords but it does mean again it means that this sense of frustration that you know they don't know what to do and how to move forward because they really really don't feel good enough for you both cards are saying they're hiding the fact that they feel this way they think that you're better than them that you're better educated in a better position um socially emotionally more confident because you've got this queen of wands energy here Okay, so this is the confidence that they see. You see the sunflower, the sun. This, the, you know, they admire you. They respect you. They love the way you are. They love the way you look. They love the way you smile. They love the, you know, that you make them laugh and they want to be with you. But they've got this low energy, low energy, low confidence that they're hiding here. Okay, they really don't feel that you would find them attractive or like them. But you do. You actually do like them. They're more worrying about it than you are. I mean, they see you as like the sunny side, the best part of them. Uh, you brighten up their day when you contact them. 
but they they don't they don't feel worthy of you so i think with this connection here is that you have to sort of take um a bit of charge okay you have to reassure this person that you want them um that your emotions you know show them that you love them that they're worthy of you because your person is quite low in self-esteem where you are not so much you have the same sort of feelings whether you know they find you attractive that's just human nature but this person here really thinks that they're not good enough for you i don't know why the light keeps going in and out today there's quite a lot of background noise noise today as well there's cars a lot of cars going past okay so if you hear any background noise i'm sorry about that okay that you just have to show them how much you love them basically show them that they wanted and that they, you're, they're needed and they're attractive because they really don't feel worthy of you. Because there's two separate things going on here. You've got your low self-esteem and you're hi hiding your confidence going on here. And you have that you, you know, this they think the absolute world of you with this card here. Okay, this is the, the light that they bring in. You bring a lot of light to their lives. But they don't feel like they should be with you sort of thing. Oh, it's very sad. You know, you just need to show how much they're loved, basically, and they'll just come round. Keep working on it. It's a little bit of work that needs doing to build this person, your other person's self-esteem, because they really don't feel like they're attractive or their job isn't good enough or their family's not good enough or the situation that they're in is not good enough for you. But um, you wouldn't invest all your time in this person if you didn't like them in the first place. So you have to take a little bit of charge here emotionally. To get this person to, if you want to continue this relationship, this person to, you know, come back and come back and make, you know, make sure that he really, really, he does want you, but he doesn't feel good enough for you. That's what this, these three are saying today. So if that resonates with you, um, there's your answer. But you could choose one of the other decks or choose one of the other videos on my channel. If you like this reading, um, please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell on. Then you'll be informed of any um, videos, any new videos that will be coming up. So if you like that reading and uh, visit, come back and see me next time. I'll be uploading more videos. And for now, bye bye for now. Bye bye. And welcome back to those of you who've chosen the red rose, this beautiful red rose today. Okay, we'll have a look. Does he want you? See what it comes up with here. I'll put that rose over there so it doesn't. Let's have a look what we've got for this reading of Does He Want You? And any, you know, it might not give you exact answer, but it might give you a clue about what's going on with this person in your head. Maybe you already had these questions in your mind. Let's have a look what's in here. The King of Wands, the right way up. We've got the Hierophant, the right way up. And the Ten of Cups reversed. Okay. Let's have a look what's going on with your person. Okay. All right. I already know what this is. And with this, with your person here, I feel like there is a fear of commitment with your person. Okay. Um, maybe you've asked him to commit or you want things to go a little bit more. Um more serious in your connection and this person is just not wanting this he really is um sort of fear of the unknown with this um hierophant and the uh knight of wands here and this ten of cups reverse is just telling me emotionally he's not maybe not as entirely invested as you are but it might not be that. It might be that he just doesn't want this level of commitment. I think it's more that than the emotional side of it. Okay. I think he does like you, but I think he wants things to stay exactly. I'm saying he, but this this could be any anyone. Um he want he likes things the way they are. The way, you know, why ruin what's going great? But that of course is not what you want, I don't think. Well, maybe that's what you want for now. Okay, he's thinking why, you know, just leave things be. Why Why the rush? Sorry about that. One of my cats is trying to get in. 
the room I shut the door because she'll she'll jump on the table <laughs> so my cat is um yeah trying to get through the door just ignore the background noise today it's a very noisy house today so your person is thinking that they just don't want this level of commitment they're a little bit uh childish actually I feel I sense that this person's a little bit on the childish side so they could be acting a bit like a spoiled child where you're you are much more on a mature level that's one of the things that you don't get on about that you want this level of commitment that they're not they're not really prepared to give you at this time i don't know if you want to wait for this person and maybe they might come round with a little bit of um a little bit of uh tender loving care it might be fear or just a I don't think it's a fear, to be honest. I think it's more of an arrogant, an arrogance about this person. Or maybe they're just not ready. You're you're asking um, more than they, that they can than they can give. Okay. See, this is the commitment card, and this is the ten of cups. So emotionally, it's draining out. But this is the commitment bit that they're not willing to give. OK, while there may be that it's that they're trotting into something, they just don't want that settling down thing. They're just happy with the way things are going for now. But is that what you want? Because if that's what you want and you want to wait a bit longer, that's absolutely fine. But um, you just want to gallop and get on with it. That's what this Knight of Pentacles where he does not ask because he's sitting in a sort of judgment and everything is sort of stuck and you can't really move forward. Also, the Knight of um, the Knight of Pen, sorry, the Knight of Wands here. This card here, the Knight of Wands. They don't want to um, commit to any of feelings. This is what I, I also I also sense this as well. They're almost saying like, I don't want to face it. You know, I don't want to think about moving forward. I don't want to think about uh, moving in and taking it to the next level. They don't want to think about it. They're not ready, basically, is what they're trying to tell you. So whether you are prepared to wait for this person um, a little bit longer, but, you know, you must look after yourself in the meantime. You can wait for them a bit more if you want to see where it will go. Um or maybe the things are just this maybe you're just not on the same wavelength anymore with, with um with your person i don't i'm not sure because they just want things the way they are and if you want that level of commitment you want to push forward they're just not going to budge not yet anyway maybe you want to keep it going and you're happy the way things are and you're ready to maybe you just want to move you know keep a steady pace because you love this person but don't forget about yourself you know well, they're thinking of themselves, actually. They're not thinking of you very much. You know, I, you know. also with this um, Ten of Cups in reverse, there could be quite a few quarrels on this subject, I think. Or unless you've already had them. Or with pure, you know, pure frustration, I feel like there's been a few quarrels. Um, yes, the light keeps going on in and out today through the window. So I feel like this uh, sense of frustration has made you to argue about uh, where your relationship is going. Well, this person just wants to stay exactly how it is. Why, you know, you just want that level of commitment that they're not going to, or not capable of maybe, just yet, to give you. Oh dear. Okay, whatever happens in this union, um, you need to look after yourself in it, okay? So you need to... Um, you know, hang around with your loved ones, your friends, you know, if it's making you unhappy, you either stay and try and work things out or maybe not. It's entirely up to you. It's your decision in the end. But look after yourself is what I say here. You know, just let the tarot be your guide. You don't have to decide what to do here. You don't have to make any decisions. You might decide just to stay like this for a while and see where it goes, which is fine. If this doesn't resonate with you, you could try one of the other decks or I have a different video, maybe to get a, a bit more clarity. Don't make it resonate with you if it's not resonating. If it's not resonating, it's not resonating. If it wasn't meant for you. Or click on a different deck or a different video in my channel. 
So that's the reading for those who've chosen the red rose today. Okay. So if you like, well, if you if you you know if you like that reading or you it resonated with you, you can. Um, I will be uploading more videos. Um, if you could uh, subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell, you'll be. You know, YouTube will tell you when a new video comes up and see if that one will help. Or there's other videos on my channel you can watch that might help you in some way. Okay, so for today, I hope you have a lovely day and um, check back in with me on my ne next time. Okay, so bye-bye for now. Bye-bye.